Until the early 1800s, most men's clothing was made entirely by hand, painstakingly measured, cut, sewn, and fitted by expert tailors. By the 1850s, when the museum's tailor shop was built, a man no longer had to visit a tailor for clothes that fit. Traditionally, all a tailor needed to create a suit of clothes was a strip of paper, chalk, scissors, fabric, needles, thread, and an iron, plus a good eye and a steady hand. Tailoring was an art, and suits were priced accordingly. You could buy cheap, pre-made clothes in a store, but they fit poorly and were inferior in every way. By the 1820s, though, thanks to new technologies, tailoring had become more of a science. The tailor took your measurements with a recently invented tape measure and then created a pattern based on newly developed tables of proportions. In turn, the use of proportional drafting systems led to the creation of standard sizes, which ensured a predictable fit and the invention of the sewing machine in the 1840s sped up the making of clothing even more. Thus, by the 1850s, the tailor who worked in the museum's tailor shop could quickly and accurately make decently fitting clothes at reasonable prices for a customer or for resale in the store next door.